So there are actually some things that you're not allowed to pray for. Um, our Lord actually shapes it in the Lord's Prayer. Uh, you are not allowed to pray for things to be done based on what you can earn. And so you're taught to pray, Our Father who art in heaven. See, this, this whole prayer now is contingent on your identity as a child of God and on your baptism, on the work that God has done to adopt you into his family, to bleed, to die, to rise, to save, and to, to, to claim you as, your own, as his own now and forevermore. So that when we come to him in prayer, it cannot be about us. It has to be about him. It's not even strictly about uh, the thing that we're trying to, to buy by praying really hard or getting a lot of people to pray or, or saying it over and over again or any of the other things, but, but it is wholly and completely based on God's good mercy. You have a father in heaven who, who loves you. Uh, and so pray, uh, pray in the same way that the dear children ask their dear father, just throw it out there because you, you're part of the family now. You are not allowed to pray as if you have something to buy. You are not allowed to pray as if you have uh, some way to pay for it. You are only allowed to pray our Father who art in heaven. And it, it, it's a gift because here, um, all the things that this sort of nibble away at us in terms of anxiety, in terms of fear, in terms of, of worry, start to, to get washed away in the promise. You are a child of God. Everything that comes after this, it's going to be handled. Not in terms of can you buy it? Have you earned it? Should you get it? But does the God who is smarter than you and loves you enough to die to save you need you to have it? for for good because here's the thing um my kids ask me for all kinds of stuff and some of it's good for them and i give it to them and some of it's not all that good for them and it's not their job to figure it out it's not their job to buy it from me as if i am i am just a merchant or a vending machine it's my job to look at the thing and say that would be good for you you should have it or maybe that'll be good for you in a few years you should have it then uh you get to, to heap the whole thing out there and, and recognize that as god is is sort of sorting through all the things that we're asking you get to just let him figure it out and so even when God says, no, it's a gift because now it, it's, it's not simply you didn't have enough points. You need to try harder. You need to pray more. You need to earn it somehow. You're not allowed to pray for that. It's, it's your father who art in heaven wants to care for you by keeping you away from this thing. Even if you really want it, sometimes that's good. Even if it doesn't feel like that at the minute. Um, and so in that minute, you're taught to pray our father who art in heaven because that's the thing we need to be focusing on right now. Otherwise, the other stuff will completely overwhelm us and all we'll try to do is buy it. All we'll try and do is barter for it. And you're not allowed. You're not allowed to pray that way. So instead we pray, our Father who art in heaven.